that is one thing. Second thing, regarding the sacrifice, if I have this feeling of affection, like, then this care and guidance is a natural outcome of it. <coughs> that is, I take the responsibility of nurturing and protection right, of my relative, the body of my relative. I take the responsibility of ensuring right understanding and right feeling in the you know, self of my relative. For this, I invest everything, right? Myself, my time and effort, my resources, right? <coughs> everything I am investing. Is this sacrifice or is this a natural, you know, thing for me to invest myself, my body and whatever I have for ensuring this fulfillment of care and guidance? Right. So this is a natural thing for me to do and it will lead to my happiness and happiness of the ch child. Right? If you look at it with this feeling, it is natural and leading to mutual fulfillment. If you don't see this mutual feeling of this kind, then you think that it is a sacrifice. Right? For example, the mother you know, is taking care of the child. So in the night, if the child gets the bed, right, what does she do? She will put the child in the dry, you know, part of the bed and she will you know, sleep on that wet part. This is out of the feeling of care. Right? And this is mutually fulfilling for the mother and the child. Right? When we look at it from outside, we think it is sacrifice. Right? But it is a natural outcome of this feeling of affection. And you can see, if you have the feeling of love, you will be doing this for everyone. Right? for the whole humanity, you know, for the whole, you know, nature. <coughs> then for someone who does not have this feeling, when he looks at it, it sounds like sacrifice. For you it sounds natural. I took up uh, after hearing one more subject. So, uh, for self to be able to take formation into a new body, uh, is it there something about this? Uh, understanding the coexistence and living in coexistence. This is one question. Sir. Now, another question is, is enlightenment equivalent to being able to transform into a new form of bodies? No. The first question is not very clear. Will they repeat it? Uh, for a self to be able to take form into a new body which is un in the process of formation in the womb of the mother, that particular self, for that particular self, is there something about is understanding the coexistence and living in coexistence. You see, this is not taking the new form. That should be very clear. It is defining a reassociation with the body. Okay. So the body is there you know, in the process of formation in the womb of the mother. The self is defining its association with that body. Okay. So it is not taking form in that sense. Okay, so that is one thing. Second so, thing is that even without understanding this coexistence, we have been anyway associating with the body and you know, conducting our life, and that we can see all around. So this understanding of coexistence, okay, is not even necessary okay, to, to define this association with the body. And that is how most of us are doing it right? without the understanding of this coexistence. But if you want to live with happiness and prosperity, then yes, it will become a requirement to understand this coexistence. Okay. This is one. The second, this issue of enlightenment or issue of realization, 
is not connected to this taking new association with the body. That we are all doing anyway without you know, realization, without the enlightenment of the coexistence. Right. But yes, as long as this realization, you know, this understanding of the coexistence has not taken place and that has not become the source of your happiness, you try to define your happiness through the senses. Right. If that is the case, it is kind of, kind of a foundation for you to associate yourself with the body. Right. Once this realization of the coexistence has taken place, and now you are able to see that as far as the happiness of the self is concerned, it is by way of understanding of the coexistence and the feeling of coexistence, and you are able to ensure your happiness out of that, then for the first time you realize that this senses, you know, the happiness through senses, is no more a requirement for happiness. Right? If that is there, then this bondage, you know, this uh, essential requirement to associate with the body to get the sensation is no more there. So that obligation is not there anymore to associate with the body. Because now you can see that you are able to ensure continuity of your happiness, right? By way of understanding of this coexistence and feeling of this coexistence. So then onward, it is a choice for you to associate with the body or not to associate with the body. Before that, it is a binding on you because you want to be happy. And you think that the happiness comes only through sensation. Therefore, the body becomes a requirement for you. So that is the difference no? before the realization and after the realization. So when this realization has taken place and you are able to ensure this happiness, continuity of happiness, or what you call it, the state of bliss, right? by way of understanding of this coexistence and feeling of this coexistence, Right. It is not a bonding for you to associate with the body. You may still associate with the body with this feeling of love and compassion right? to help everyone to have this right understanding, right feeling, you know, all this. But that is by choice. There is no bonding anymore. So that is the difference. So, Guruji, that way myself is not myself. Myself is not the real self. Yeah, I mean, myself <laughs> is not myself, you know, because yes. I am... This self, which you are thinking yourself, is dumped by this preconditioning <laughs> and sensations. <laughs> so it is like a, you know, Hachilaghar of municipality. <laughs> no, Guruji, myself is not uh, in the harmony with the coexistence, which means it's not myself. Yeah, that is what we have been saying right from the first day. All this desire, thought and expectation which you have accumulated, have been dumped into you by your parents, by your teachers, by your society, right? And the sensation which have been dumped into you. Now we are saying, can we understand the existence? You know, see as coexistent, this realization is there. Can I have the understanding of the nature, the characteristic of the nature, my participation in nature? If I can do this, then this becomes the source of my desire, thought and expectation. This is the real self. Without this, this deluded self <coughs> is there with all kind of ego and depression, right? This frustration. This frustration is there. With this realization and understanding, you will stabilize. This stability will come. Then there is no excitement and there is no depression. Right? You are in a state of peace, state of bliss, state of harmony. And that is what is ultimately aimed at. So now if you see, this happiness is not an excited state. Right? It is a normal state. Right? It is a state of peace, it is a state of harmony, a state of bliss. No excitement. Can I? I think I'm getting. Either there excitement upside or downside. <laughs> <laughs> the more you explain, the more confusing I can see. Yes, yes. So I think we should stop. <laughs> 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 okay.
still in this pattern in the living world, not here, yeah. I think now. So when we talk about sensation, 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 the implication, connotation has always been to in the negative sense, and in the positive sense, that you cannot get uh, real understanding or realization through that uh, craving for um, pleasant sensation. But sensation can also mean, uh, may also take or may manifest both in body and mind in a negative sense. So you have been talking about some kind of purification process. So uh, can you uh, highlight on this? Yeah. <coughs> this purification of the senses, uh, purification of this desire, thought and expectation means they are all in line with this. If this happens, it is purified. If this purification takes place, what do I expect from sensation now? <coughs> that becomes very clear. The sensation is used for two purposes. One is nurturing and protection of the body. That is the purpose of senses. Right? So that is the right utilization of the senses. Right? Nurturing and protection of the body. That is part one. Part two is sharing this right understanding, right feeling with other human beings. These are the two right use of the sensation. So it's not that sensation is something which is going to travel you all the time. With the purification of this desire, thought and expectation, the role of sensation will become very clear. One is to nurture and protect the body. For example, when I eat something, by way of smell I can tell whether it is good for nutrition of the body or it has got rotten. So that is the use of the sensation. <coughs> Similarly, when I am trying to share this you know, understanding with you, I am using my body to create some sound. It is reaching to you as a sensation. So you are accessing this proposal from me through your senses. Right? And then you are trying to verify that you know, proposal. So there are two right use of sensation. One is to nurture and protect of the body. The other is to share your right understanding and right feeling with others. So if this is in order, this is purified, the use of the sensation can be defined properly. I think that will be the last, last question. <laughs> and then I would like to just come up and close down. Guruji, I have one small doubt here. Would I to do some if a human being wants to become weak, that depends upon our desire. So related to that question, but the animal also has a soul and in the self and body separate, or only one. If it is separate, if animal desire become a human being, there is any possibility. Yeah, yeah, that is what is happening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I want. <laughs> yeah, let me uh, explain this. If the self is there, the minimum awareness is towards the selecting and testing. Right? So this is the minimum. So this you can see in animal, in the self of the animal and self of the human. But then you don't stop here. Right? You start becoming of higher activities of the self. So if you have become aware of this activity of analyzing and imaging, then you are ready to associate yourself with the body of human beings. That is one thing. And I said that if you are now able to go up to this, then you have no need to come back to associate with the body, animal, you know, body of the animal. But if you have not achieved this, and you are still lingering on to this, and focusing largely on selecting and testing, then you are likely to associate even with the animal body. That is the whole thing. <coughs> and let me tell you, the whole modern civilization today is largely focusing on selecting and testing. So I took that example, that when you are making an air conditioner, 
ओके व्हाट आर यू डूइंग यू आर मेकिंग योर सेंसेशन फेवरेबल सो योर बिग अचीवमेंट ऑफ मेकिंग एयर कंडीशन यू नो क्रिएटिंग इलेक्ट्रिसिटी एंड रनिंग दिस एयर कंडीशनर ऑल इज रिलेटेड टू दिस सबसर्विंग टू दिस सेलेक्टिंग इंटेस्टी सो इफ दैट इज द केस यू आर क्वाइट क्वालिफाइड टू एसोसिएट विद द एनिमल बॉडी इन फ्यूचर so we are trying to make sure right that you reach to this state and therefore you have no need to associate with the body anymore. so my question animal can become a human being yeah that's what i said the animal <laughs> who are becoming aware of this activity of analyzing and imaging right those cells are qualified to associate with the in human body so animal cells who are associated with the animal body if they become aware of this analyzing and imaging can they associate themselves with the human body in future and particularly this animals who are associated with human beings right? this dogs and the cows and all this right? they tend to develop this fast Okay, let me sum up this. We have many such questions, and that's the you know point that this need to know is very fundamental for human being, right? And need to know about the entire existence, right? Nothing less. This is quite evident from this session, right? Till now, I was trying to you know conduct this session in a very guided manner, but when you leave it open, you can see. we have to understand about the whole existence nothing should be left that is why we said we need to understand the harmony starting from the self right up to the existence right. so that is what we have tried to do all these seven days we started from identification of the desire of the human being and program of action to ensure the fulfillment of this desire but what essentially we got out of this study this self study is that the need of happiness continuity of happiness which is there in every human being when you try to fulfill it what it means is to understand and to live in harmony starting from self to entire existence when we investigated further into this what it meant was that the existence is already in the form of coexistence right we are there by way of coexistence right and when we are there by way of coexistence all that human being needs to do is to understand this coexistence and live in this coexistence so you can see we started from the perspective of a human being <coughs> trying to identify the need and the fulfillment of the need <coughs> in the process we went right up to the existence right we understood this existence as coexistence when we did this right it became all the other way around now it is not the human being which is the beginning you know starting point it is this coexistence which is the starting point human being is a part of this coexistence right is one of the unit in coexistence right and because it is a part of the coexistence it is an unit in coexistence then the role of human being can be defined in this coexistence and this is the role of human being right this is what leads to happiness continuity of happiness which is an indicator of the fact that the human being is able to understand its role in coexistence and it is fulfilling its role in coexistence right. doing this is living with a definite human conduct right this is definite human conduct right which we had started with you know, in the very first session okay when we are living with this definite human conduct it is fulfilling for me fulfilling for others fulfilling for everyone right and this is all that we want to need you know, 
you. This is all that we need to do. And to ensure this, okay, and this is living with human consciousness. Okay. And to do this, what is fundamental for us? That education and sanskar. Right? So the role of education and sanskar is essentially to enable this transformation from thinking ourselves as the body, as something isolated from the rest, right? To this understanding of the coexistence, in existence and living in coexistence, feeling of coexistence. So this transformation is what is required, right? From animal consciousness to human consciousness. Okay. And this transformation is made possible through education and sanskar. And that is the role of education and sanskar. So when we are talking about education and sanskar, this is the essential role of it. So in that sense we have to evaluate our education and sanskar process. So this is all. You know. Ultimately, all that it boils down to okay, is just this. Existence is equal to coexistence, which is ever present. I am, you know, by virtue of this coexistence, therefore my role in this coexistence is to understand this coexistence and live in this coexistence. If I do this, it, it, says, you know, it leads to a state of happiness, which is my basic desire. So I think this is what we wanted to convey. So, with this, I think I uh, kind of convey my thanks to all of you for very peacefully listening to all the proposals and trying to explore within your own self. So, it was a matter of joy for me. Your response you will see tomorrow. <laughs> Your response to you. What has been this process for you? Right? Whether it has been fulfilling for you, whether it has been able to start this process of self-exploration, right? has it lead to some understanding, right? some realization? All that we would like to listen from you tomorrow. <coughs> So nice. Thank you very much from my whole team. It was a nice sharing with all of you. Thank you very much.